It's Danny Brewer's Friday Pony Picks. Sponsored by the Mint Gaming Hall at Kentucky Downs. Another historic Kentucky Downs live racing meet is now in the books, but the excitement continues just north of the Tennessee State Line. Featuring over 1,000 gaming machines, live entertainment, and fine dining, the Mint Gaming Hall will also play host to a huge Breeders' Cup party on November 3rd and 4th. The place to play the World Thoroughbred Championship, plus a whole lot more, nestled just 35 miles north of Nashville. For more information, visit themintgaming.com. Now, here's Danny Brewer with your Friday Pony Picks. Saturday, October 7th means one month to the Breeders' Cup. Let's head to Caneland Racecourse, one of the most magnificent places on earth. Race 6, the Grade 2 Woodford Stakes. You got 12 horses going 5.5 furlongs on the turf. We like the number 11. Beer Can Man. West Coast shipper for trainer Phil D'Amato. Only one win in four starts in 2023, but he's been in the muddy in 13 of 16 lifetime starts, and the Can Man runs tough Every time out. Race 8 at Keeneland, the Grade 1 First Lady Stakes. You got eight females going one mile on the turf. The number three in Italian. Very talented runner out of Chad Brown Barn, ridden by Joe Rosario. Three starts this year, two wins in a second. The long shot we like in this race is the number seven, New Year's Eve for trainer Brendan Walsh, ridden by Luis Saez. Race 10 at Keeneland, the Grade 1 Coolmore Turf Mile. Nine runners on the turf means superfected. The number one, Master of the Seas for trainer Charlie Appleby. The number three, Stitched. Running for Greg Foley. The number five up to the mark and the number nine, Annapolis, both trained by Todd Pletcher. Let's finish the day at Santa Anita Park. Race eight is the grade two Rodeo Drive Stakes. We like the number four. Closing remarks. She's won two in a row. She's brilliantly trained by the magnificent Carla Gaines. Remember, got a hunch, bet a bunch, back a horse and get paid. <laughs> 